after the interview between Sheikh Yasser Qadi and Mohammed Hijab, where Sheikh Yasser Qadi expressed there are holes in narrative, Muslim missionaries are making videos after videos to simply answer the question if there are holes or not. It's not only they are making videos, but after Muslims are expressing that they are having doubts in their faith, they are questioning their faith, all they get from Muslim missionaries are being bullied and being told off instead of getting proper answer to the doubts they have. Approximate two hours video which was put um, up by Mohammed Hijab, which he expresses actually, yeah, there are bigger, bigger and bigger holes, or you can simply say there are giant holes in narrative, which Sheikh Yasir Qadi didn't express, but I'm going to do is I'm going to help you to see how giant this hole is. As he expressed that in two hours teaching, let's just do a little bit fact check to see if he even bothered to do any homework, especially for those Muslims who are doubting about their faith, especially for those Muslims who are living Islam, which Mohammed Hijab simply calls them fools. Let's hear Mohammed Hijab and do a quick fact check. Within the 10 readings, there are two ways of reading the word Malik, Yawm al -Din. So the word Malik here can either be read as Malik or it can be read as Malik. You see, these are two different ways of reading this particular word. Okay, so it can be Malik, which means the owner, or Malik, which means the king. Now, so within 10, the 10 different readings, yeah, the only difference that you're going to find in terms of words in Surah al fatiha is in one word, and that word is Malik and Malik. In 10 different Arabic Qurans, Muhammad Hijab simply expresses that Surah Fatiha, first Surah, which Muslims are reciting 17 times a day, which some of the early Muslims didn't believe it's supposed to be the part of Quran, contains, four, contains one variation, Malik versus Malik. One of them is king, other one is owner. Is that so? Here we have Ibn Mujahid's Kitab al Sabah fi al Qurat. He looks at seven different Arabic Qurans and then he talks about the variations in his book. Please come with me to page 705. So we are in page 705 of the book and if you can see in here okay author kind of tells you there are actually four variations there are four variations in surah one in surah fatiha and those of you who read arabic i'm sure you already recognize this and surah fatiha is already like a surah which is very much well known by muslims if you are if you don't know surah fatiha you are not even muslim so here he tells us actually it contains four variations. You've got Malik, you've got Surat, you've got Aleikum, you've got Gairu um, Mahdubi Alek. So he gives you only in one verse, one chapter, which is only seven verse, with four variations. Yet, yes, it has four variations according to Muslims. When you say, oh, this surah, which is, has been known by every Muslim, has only one variation, according to your early Muslims, there were four variations. Four. So, welcome to the Muhammad Hijab's giant holes. Of course, Sheikh Yasir Qadi didn't use the right word when he said narrative has the holes. He meant to say narrative has giant holes. How many differences and variations are there in the entire Quran throughout the seven major readings? Now, Ibn Mujahid, who's a classical scholar, one of the most leading names, obviously existed about a thousand years ago, and he wrote a kitab, a book called Kitab Sabah al Qiraat. And he says that there are 700 places, around 700 words which have variants, yes? 700 words, that's what he says. 
We all heard Mohammed Hijab simply said, Ibn Mujahid tells us there are 700 differences in the seven Qurans. Hmm. Is that what he really says? Is that what he really says? Of course, basic answer to that question is no. But since Mohammed Hijab wants to put up giant hole, let's see where he went to bring up these 700 variations. So Mohammed Hijab went to yakininstitutions.org, which article was put together after, after Sheikh Yasekadi expressed that there are the holes in narrative, Yakin Institution decided to fix this. And in 1st July, they put this article titled Origins of the Ahruf and Krad. In that article, which is only like, I think just over 30 pages, with the footnotes, it's just over 40 pages. Summary of everything, not very well written, but like, it's okay. In this article, he is, he, there is a footnote, okay? And you can see this exactly the same footnote. You can see the exactly the same footnote on Muhammad Hijab's PowerPoint. Copy and paste. Very, very bad. Copy and paste. In here, it says 703 places. There are, there are the differences are being listed. Okay? It says, for these numbers, please see the Yasin Dutton's work. But we didn't get to hear that from Mohammed Hijab. Mohammed Hijab simply said, Ibn Mujahid tells us there are 703 variations. He doesn't even say, oh, by the, according to Yakin institution or according to Yasin Dutton. Let me just express. It's not about the numbers in this occasion. It is about how Muslims are trying to put giant holes and how they are still screaming at Muslims, bullying Muslims, yet they are turning up their teachings without homework, copy and paste base work. So it is not very difficult to get access to uh, access to book, which we already looked at, which we already looked at a little bit of book regarding the Surah 1. So once you go to the book again, so this list, con this list is in page 705 to page 778. Page 705 to page 778. So as you look at the book, okay, you get to see variations after variations, variations after variations, which has been listed. This surah contains this many variations. This surah contains this many variations. Remember, this is only for seven different Arabic Qurans. Yet, according to Muhammad Hijab, there are 10 different Arabic Qurans, and those different Arabic Qurans are way to access to the Quran. So, once you go to the list which has been put together in the index from page 705 to 778, so here is the work for you simply put together. Surah Fatiha contains four variations, Surah Kaut contains um, 110 variations. And then it goes on and 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 all together at the end, all together at the end, we have, see the number here, 1,247 variations. Just simply go and edit, edit, edit the numbers to one another. Yet, according to Muhammad Hijab, which he copy and paste without even checking and counting them, he come just over 700. It doesn't matter actually how many. Even one variation destroys the argument. It's all around the world. It's exactly the same dot by dot, letter by letter. It has never been changed. It has never been edited or altered. Yet, now, we are talking about this is just for the seven different Arabic Qurans. According to Muhammad Hijab, there are ten different Arabic Qurans which gets you access to the one Quran. Hmm. Don't you think you would have time to bother and do your homework? Overall, I wanted to say it's not the 
Ibn Mujahid says there are 700 variations. He gives you the list and then once you add those numbers in this in this list, gives you one number of 1,247 of them. That Allah he sent down this Quran to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with talaqi, like word for word. That's what it means, word for word. So what are the qiraat? Now, if you, if you heard some of the apologetics and some of the weird sayings of the, the anti-Muslims, they'll say, look, there's a thousand differences, 10,000 differences, 40,000 differences and, uh, in meanings between the Qiraat Lash of the 10 Qiraats. I've even actually seen some uh, Orientals use this, this kind of uh, argumentation in lectures. Like Shadi Hikmat and other, others, he's, he's like, these are 10 masters and look at this, he's trying to make a monster out of it. My friend, there are 700 words, but it's only 700 word difference. 700 differences. Yet book doesn't say that, actually I'm sure you already noticed in the footnote, it points you to the book. Yet book doesn't say that. Very, very bad copied and paste homework very very bad preparation to put up giant holes but the bottom line is it was all same not even letter altered it was all perfectly preserved now you without any shame you continue to lie when it comes to the numbers such as such a bad and bad and very much and very 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 much bad 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 habit but what, what what can you do what can you do if you believe your muslims are doubting if you believe your muslims are leaving islam and if you call them fools of course what are you gonna do you are gonna make giant holes and then fool your muslim friends and muslim brothers with knowing actually no one is gonna bother to check it why? Because I didn't even check it. Why people who are watching me is going to check it? That's the mindset of Muslims. The original is 700 words. But 700 words that have different ojo, different ways of being recited. There shouldn't even be one according to you. There shouldn't even be one according to any of the Dawa gangs or any of the Muslim missionaries who are fooling others. Now you are fighting within numbers of 700, yet you didn't even bother to check. Just all you've done was read 33 pages of the article and then put all of everything in that article without any fact check, without any reference. And even you fail to give the full footnote, just copy and paste half of the footnote and pretend it actually that comes from the original sources or just pretended yeah by the way i did bother to read that 700 pages of the book of ibn mujahid so when someone says there are holes in the narrative what are the ways you fill the holes first one is the part where it's exp expressed there are holes in the narrative you simply take edited that video pretend no one ever said it and then put pressure the other person who has the full video to turn off the comment parts where Muslims express that they are doubting their faith, they are leaving Islam. And more pressure because more Muslims are leaving Islam, more Muslims are doubting. What you do is you take whole video. That's not enough. Muslim missionary steps in and then tries to write articles, tries to make videos. Why? Because those small holes were not enough. What are they going to do is now? They are going to make giant holes. Why? Because there are holes in the narrative. And because Muhammad fooled Muslims in 7th century, his Sahabas fooled Muslims in 7th century and Tovarson. Muslim missionaries think, yep, all we've got to do is just present something which is not true so that we can fool them as well. Welcome to the world of Muslims. Welcome to the world where you've been fooled and you've been fooled, yet you are the one who is called as fool. I hope these giant holes 
which has been unpacked and unpacked and extended by Muhammad Hijab, will be able to big enough to bury Islam. Rest in peace, Islam.